this is Jen Jeff here, and we are back with Ymir. I did some stuff already. This has had most of its stuff um, turned into, well, just destroyed because it wasn't needed. Uh, are you still making, you're still making flint. There's still flint places still working in there. Uh, oh, well. So we need to grab some hammers from here, because there's loads of hammers. How much of these do I own? Uh, not all of them, but apparently 20 of them somehow. Oh yes, because I was dismantling buildings last night. Late last, last night. So, what we're doing here in Vicoria is uh, building some more merchant spots, because we have a thing called lettuce and dates to send over here and so we'll be putting them all into place and this is the um, update that puts in hidden resources so if you don't have the tech to use stuff yet it shouldn't be visible at the time which is good better than it was before because you could see everything from the start and due to the nature of the situation since we already saw that oh this is sand and gravel but I can already tell oh look at that look at that you know it's there you don't know what it is but you know something is there so it just shows up as gravel with flint that's neat that's neat that's a way of doing it. You're in the way. Market, 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 and market. Put those in. Because we need to sell more dates. Uh, the patch also reset the timer on this, so I've got another 47 hours before these guys go away. Which is funny and convenient. So, we're going to build these. Um, and then, what I'll probably do is set this to low and set this to high. 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 And hi. I think we need more storage. Just the freaking gobbledygook mess of storage here. Got some more storage. Date supply is slowly increasing. We have expanded the papyrus farm. Yeah, that's good enough for now. It's not like it's a key thing. Let's see. Anyone buying papyrus? We've got these in trade. Some people have bought the gold. That's there and that's there. Trade. Can I see what happened? Show all resources. Uh, 10. Some people have bought that. Someone did buy flax that's good I sold these guys a bunch of dates and I've been selling a lot of gold ore for money so the system is quite nice selling at 50 Jesus 30 25 to 30 is reasonable 50 is just oh no you know what anywhere from 22 23 to 28 maybe 30 is reasonable 50 forget that Alrighty. Apples, beans. Four. It cost me that much to make these things. They're worth five here, so. Oh, look, we're losing money. Oh, you can see the local price by going to here. It says local price five. At, at four? <laughs> That's profitable. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Bows. They're cheap. Buffaloes. 
camels, carrots. At twenty. Ugh. Charcoal. That's actually a reasonable price. Four is a reasonable price. Copper, 16. Its local price here is 14. I need a bigger spread than that. Local price, 5. Like this here. You just want 6 at 9. That's actually worth it. And this could be worth it, too. Triggered whenever stocks go below 60. Thing is, I don't produce 10. I actually have nothing in my inventory. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, back to trade. Silver ore, people are selling. They're buying it for like 17, but I'm not selling it right now. It's tin. Some people are selling tin. And so on. Ah, there's the first one. You're going to sell dates. And the next one to finish is going to sell lettuce. Yes. You sell lettuce. Okay. So what we're going to do is one, there's two diplomatic messages here. Let's look at him. He just wants... Allows trade. We shall agree. And Ryef. Allows trade. Peace treaty, we shall agree. So there we go. A couple more trading partners. Mission completed. Wait zero days. Oh look, it re re renewed. Uh, okay, so you have loads of dates and you have loads of lettuce. Boy, is there, there are a lot of dates. I need to expand the lettuce farms and there should be a lot of lettuce too. Some small issues remain with everything. Small issues remain. Not huge ones. Not overly serious ones. But small issues. Let's see. I don't like one thing. Because of the situation with the state power, waste is kind of high. And with the formations being the way they are, they're also, their maintenance is also kind of high. We can't quite get rid of them yet, though, because we're still occupying places. Fourteen. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. You're up. You've got your fifty. You're selling your stuff. Your population is good. You're making tools. I'm buying lots of tools, which is part of the problem, too. Hammers, hoes, and whatnot. What I should do is transport these things over to the capital. All of them. 
<sighs> You're currently busy occupying that. You're making hoes. You've made loads of hoes. Gold ore is coming in. Ah, yes. First, the dates. I'm going to move 10. Dates. 10. Send order. New trade route. Dates. Oh, that. Open the trade route. And have those farms been updated for the lettuce yet? Because if that goes up to seven, that'll be something that makes me quite happy if that happens. And one, th one reason why I'm bringing in so many is that it will allow me to um, start trading dates easier. Because this is the only place I'm going to be putting a trade thing. Because, the main reason for that being, because there's less corruption and there's less waste. So I get the most out of any trade deal that we do. So everything's brought here for trade. Yeah, we're going to need to expand the uh, supplies of stuff. There we go. Get more storage in. There we go. Alrighty. What do we have for walls? We've got mud brick walls, which aren't very good. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. And I made a small boo-boo. The double layer gate. There we go. And storage warehouse. Warehouse, warehouse. Warehouse. Granary. Granary. There we go. A neat little fort. And all the gold and everything will be moved into there eventually. You don't need that staff. That'll increase the cost. We're down to minus 52. <laughs> oh well. So high, high, high. Plus 10 dates. Please occupy that soon. Please occupy that soon. Please? That'd be nice. Ah, the lettuce is at plus six. That is not how much I would have liked, but that will do. So, new trade route. Lettuce. 
5.5, send route, new trade route, 5.5. Slowly let it build up so I can make another lettuce farm. Okay, and then we're going to go down here and grab all those hoes and hammers. Let's see. Not javelins. The hose. Boom. And then the hammers. Boom. And then bring them up. And put them for sale. Can I move through you? No. You? No. No. I'm going to have someone I can go through. Nope. Ah, balls. Because part of the problem is, since they've got these guys, can I just disband them here? No. Because I've got civilians, they're expensive. So I need to work on getting them back. We can't even go that way. Okay, so what you're going to do... 15 loot, what do we get? We've got a lot of stuff to bring back, too. So you're going to encamp. You... Do not have movement to move. You're also cheap to maintain anyway. You. Cost me 23. You're encamped and can't move. You also have a good amount of inventory. So I'm being kind of screwed by my armies out here. That's 3.5. Eh, what are you selling? You're selling more. That's good. Kind of surprised that this is still, like, expensive. <laughs> fish. Why is there fish? I didn't upgrade the fish. That's a thing to do. Where is my army? Right here. Decided not to show up. Unload. Unload. Grab a few spears. I think we'll only need four. Load. Go over this way. Hose. Hammers. Hammers, hammers, hammers. Too expensive. So unload the hose and then take the spears down here and we'll upgrade the fishing places. Yay, it decides to flash. I'm hoping the recording isn't flashing like that. Oh, that'd be bad. That'd be really bad. Oh well. Um, I'm just upgrading buildings. I think this is long enough. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, actually. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted. 
and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.